Oh, I would 1,000% play Big Brother again. Um, if I had to place my best bet of like what this like secret alliance thing is uh, that Kylan referred to in his um, uh, goodbyes, I'd say definitely Kylan and X are in it. There's talk of a secret alliance. He was on to that. Uh, you know, I think he was referring to us, the secret <laughs> alliance. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, he seemed even a little bit confused about who we might be, but he's only watched a few seasons of the show. So we talked to him about all of these things as he got out of the house and we threw some questions at him. We wanted to know the dirt on possible romance in the BB house for him, plus all about his game. So let's get right to it and talk to him about that gift America gave him. For two weeks in a row, we were saying, save yourself. Literally, save yourself, Derek. And not only that, but like, you think when you get these powers that obviously America likes you, you're getting the most money, you were giving it to you for a reason. So I'm so confused why he didn't use it. It was like, <laughs> here's his take on girls it. Girls are trouble. Girls are trouble, Jason. <laughs> okay, good advice. Basically, I misread why people were giving me the money. I thought that they wanted me to save up for the coin flip so that I can make a big move and take out Xavier. Uh, when in reality, it was a warning sign that I needed to keep myself safe and they wanted me to play the roulette wheel. Um, the tough part was once I got in $200, I knew that I was guaranteed to be able to play the coin flip next week. So I was really weighing whether or not would I risk my safety this week to take a guaranteed shot next week at taking out someone who was in the way of my long-term game, which was X. Um, so I can't say that I fully regret the decision I made because I think it was still calculated and maybe it was just unlucky. Uh, it, it's hard in the big brother house. Like obviously every move that anyone makes in this game, even though some of them turn out poorly, I don't think at in the moment that they make a decision, it's the wrong decision because there's always luck as a factor. So even if you make a decision where it's like 90% of the time it's gonna go well, there's still a 10% chance that it doesn't. Uh, and you can't fault someone for making the right move, but they just got unlock unlucky. Rachel, I think at this point, it's more than him being unlucky. He got uninvited to the cookout. Like yes. they're, they're just grilling him up. He got, he got served. <laughs> I love, and I love that he seems like he has a good attitude about it, but it's true. Like there's a little factor of luck in the game. It's true. Yes. Yes. And you do have to take those chances. That's why I think even in the beginning, Julie said risk versus reward is the risk to not take it worth it. Well, yeah. Cause you, you don't know if you're guaranteed to play in veto and yeah, you don't, you're not HOH. So the risk is, and he knows that he's a big player and he knows that he's a big threat. So there's always that chance that he could end up on the block. And so that is luck, but it's also, I mean, I would have played personally and not waited. And, you know, this reminds me of when uh, Lawan got Lawan in his magical powers in season 13, when I was on the block next to Lawan. And for some reason, he said, put me on the block. I'll get the magical powers. There was no magical powers, you know? So sometimes in that game, we're just thinking like, oh we're they're gonna get some power there's gonna be this that next week it's worth it like but then you don't know because you were playing week to week in the game and so this is what happened to Derek X this week see Adler agrees <laughs> yep baby knows best uh let's talk about Christian you really wanted to know his take on Christian I thought if he wouldn't have gotten out Christian I think Christian would have been the target this week. Derek X would have been out another week. He would have been in another week. I think he could have made the move against really anyone else when he had the opportunity and he decided to get out Christian. So I wanted to see what he had to say about that because was getting out Christian really the best idea for his game? I might still be in the house this week, but not next week, not the week after. Um, keeping Christian in the house would ruin my chances at winning HOHs, ruin my chances at winning vetoes. And on top of that, he's not shielding me against anyone that I'm threatened by. He's not shielding me against the Kings. He's not shielding me against the Queens, only the Jokers. So at the end of the day, I think keeping Christian out of the house uh, was still the right decision, even though it meant I had to keep Sarah Beth in the house. Now, a whole nother question is whether or not I should have nominated Sarah Beth. Maybe I shouldn't have put her up because that did 
paint me as a target for her? I think he is looking at it like he was, he had another competitor to compete against that which would possibly beat him in competitions when he should have been looking at it like he had this guy who's this huge target. And when two targets work together, they can work together to take out other people that are floaters and take out the people that are not working with them and that are gonna come after them and that are gonna wanna take them out the first chance they have. I see this time and time again in Big Brother, the targets don't work together and it always blows my mind. I think I made that point to Danielle Donato and actually, you know what, I made that point in season 13 when uh, Jeff and Jordan got rid of Brendan. I was like, don't get rid of Brendan because Brendan is the big target next to Jeff. So the second you get rid of Brendan, Jeff is the next big guy. So, and then the next thing, as soon as they could, they got rid of Jeff. And, you know, so I think it was like, this is the same situation. As soon as they could, they got rid of Derek X because Derek X is next on that line, um, right below Christian. I think Rachel, he's contradicting himself in saying, yeah, if I stayed another week, then I'd be gone next. But he was holding onto this money for this power that could have bought him a couple of weeks beyond that. I know we all look back and we're like, oh, I shouldn't have changed anything. But I think when he really reevaluates this, he might see that getting rid of Christian instead of trying to work with him in some way. And maybe Christian had no interest in that. I think that will be one of those things he looks back because if he had played in that competition, he'd used the money America gave him, he might have been able to roll more than Claire and get three, four, five in there and be able to have that 50-50 shot of taking power and controlling the HOH that next week. It's still, it's all speculation, but it is interesting to kind of play uh, armchair quarterback here and, and say, well, you could have done this and you might have been able to do that. But he's saying, nope, nope, it wouldn't have changed anything for his game. When the non-cookout members come to the jury house back to back to back, they're going to go crazy when when that first person tells them there was a cookout this whole alliance we were running the game the entire time that Derek is gonna be go crazy so I'm assuming this week Sarah Beth goes she's gonna go crazy uh, you know Brittany maybe doesn't even have any idea but <laughs> once Alyssa's in there she's gonna be real upset um so I think what Derek X is gonna is going to be the mad. I think he'll be the most mad at himself because he didn't see it at all. Um. Okay. So the house guest still in the game. I think uh, Kyle and X are set up well right now. Um, if I had to place my best bet of like what this like secret alliance thing is uh, that Kyle referred to in his um, uh, goodbyes, I'd say definitely Kyle and X are in it. Uh, it is interesting because in the mid game, I noticed that they were getting closer, and then as people started talking about that, they stopped being close. Uh, so I should have painted as a red flag, but so kind of X 100%. And I think this does date back to Slaughterhouse. So I might throw Big D in there and Tiffany for, for sure, because Tiffany has never wanted to target either Kylan or X. And I always thought it was suspicious. And me and Claire were starting to put sus on her. Um, and then I don't know if that's it or if also Hannah Aza. Uh, it, it's some combination of these people. I, I know almost for a fact that it's no one else in the house as a possibility. It's not SB, it's not Alyssa, um, it's not Claire. So I, I, these are only six possible people. I don't know what combination uh, is it actually. I think it was a little bit too late, it, 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 you know, in support of the cookout here. They picked perfect timing to get him out because he was... I mean, maybe days, maybe a week or so away from really figuring out how this was working. He had put a few pieces together. He yeah. knew the players who were not in that cookout and he had a few question marks, but he, he was he was onto them. So had he stayed another week or so, I think Derek X was gonna put all the pieces together when he watched who else started walking out the door. And yeah. mm -hmm. then it, it was, if he could get any kind of power, he would have tried to, to break up the cookout. I, I do think it's interesting that this season, we've had a secret alliance that has this far really gone almost undetected. It is pretty remarkable when you start thinking about Big Brother gameplay and everybody keeping quiet and all of the dynamics that are happening inside the cookout. Yeah, oh, 100%. I think it reminds me a lot, and I, I'm using my seasons as comparison, but to the Brigade in season 12, right? 
So nobody really caught on to the brigade. We didn't know. And even Brittany thought she was in it until the very end. Um, and I just feel like this alliance, this cookout is such a good alliance. And the way that they're playing it, the way that they kind of hang out, they don't hang out, they're friends, they're not friends. It's like nobody has caught on. And, and I, it's, sometimes it shocks me that they're able to stay together without turning on each other because, you know, in that house, one thing and you're like suspicious. So, yeah. or, or as uh, Derek X called it, sus. Sus. <laughs> the millennials. Yeah. Sus. Yeah. So for for the, the older people watching this going, what? Sus? We're sus? What? They were suspicious. That's what yeah. it means. You know, because exactly. saying suspicious is such a long word. It's so hard to say. Yeah. The kids got to shorten everything. LOL. Us millennials, Jason. We don't know. The, the Zillennials, they, it's sus. <laughs> it's sus. Okay. Well, what's a little sus is that Hannah, Derek X relationship that seemed to be there and then not, and we couldn't really figure it out. Julie asked a little bit about it and we had to ask too, Rachel. Yeah, of course. Expect the unexpected. That's what he left us with. <laughs> Uh, there, I, I think you guys know everything. Like you literally watched my life 24 seven for the past 51 days. You saw everything that I saw. Uh, so if anything, maybe there's something that I don't know that you guys do know. Uh, but what I'll say is Hannah is an incredibly nice girl. I think any guy would be lucky to be with her, uh, extremely funny. And she really did get me through. Um, she was there for me in my lows through my highs. Uh, and it's someone that I'll definitely want to keep in my life. I know he said she's someone he wants to keep in his life, but man, it sounded like he said wife the first time I heard it. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> wife? Hannah? And Derek? Jason, that's what you're you never sure know. For. Romance <laughs> blossoms. You're, you're proof of that. Inside that's the true. Big Brother house, these showmances happen, and sometimes they work out. He's He teased a little bit, and, he, and then he even he said maybe it. there's something that you guys at home, or, or especially people watching on the feeds, have seen over the 51 days he was in the right. house. I, I think that what we've seen from Hannah after he left was very telling about her feelings toward him. She was so sad and upset and really concerned about them being able to have a relationship. I think she was really concerned that he may feel betrayed by her because she chose the cookout over him. And it, I mean, we don't know what will happen outside the Big Brother house, but I think everything will, will be smoothed over. Let's hope. <laughs> friends I don't see this going to if I had a board right now I would say no man's um but I don't think I don't see them going into a relationship but I do see them being friends and only because of the way he talks about her because he doesn't really seem he doesn't seem that into her you know I any he's his telling line was any guy would be lucky to be with her so okay. to me that means any guy but not me Okay, so it was it was a good time in the Big Brother house. They yeah. built a bond. That was the closest connection he had, but it wasn't yeah. real love romance, according to Rachel Riley's. Uh, according to my only because I lived in that Big Brother house, and if it was me, I would be coming off the show. Oh, I would love to go out with Brendan. I would love to okay. see him again. I'm hoping he comes in the jury house next, but I don't want him to because I want him to win. But if he comes in next and I'm really excited, you know what I mean? Like, right. it's, you know, any, the, the telling line is any guy would be lucky to be with her because okay. he's, I like your take he, on that. yeah, if he really wanted to be with her, he would say something like, I mean, I'm going to ask her on a date when we get off to the show. You know, Christian said, as soon as they get off the show, him and Alyssa are going out. So, yeah. you know, well, I, and think I saw that on season three, we had uh, you know, one of the guys walk out and he was ready to go on a date with yeah. the, the girl that he really found attractive on season three as soon as she got out of the house. I mean, and, and he did say something like you mentioned there. I want her to stay. I want her to go all the way and win yeah. the thing. Uh, by the way, she did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was waiting there with flowers and all at the end. Uh, and we like to ask all these players after they've left the game if they would ever like to play Big Brother again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I would 1,000% play Big Brother again. I... Uh, feel stupid having having come into this house with knowing having only watched two seasons uh, but now I feel like I've learned so much about the game and I think I could play it so much better the second time around and hopefully actually go far uh, oh, who do I want to join, join me in a jury house uh, x 
or Kylan. I just want Tiffany Hannah or Claire to have the best shot as possible by winning this game. And I, I think in order to do that, they need to take out one of these big, big players. I, I predict, Jason, if Tiffany's at the end, she's winning. Yeah. Derek's voting for Tiffany. Brittany's voting for Tiffany. And it's yeah, not she's, gonna, she's really done a real good job with jury management. And it's been yep. very subtle. It's been very smooth. Even though she had to deal with some issues in the cookout, yep. she is really paving the way to win this game. So he's rooting for Tiffany, for Hannah, and for Claire. Uh, the way it's shaping out, I really would be shocked if Claire, I think this week it's Sarah Beth and then Claire next week. And then, you know, Alyssa. unless Alyssa does something remarkable and, and wins HOH, the cookout has the numbers and they take her. And so it really looks like, I mean, we're making predictions way out that it goes, right? Uh, Sarah Beth yeah. this week, then to Claire and then to Alyssa. And yeah. those are the, the people we're going to be talking to next here on The Secret Alliance. I don't know. What, what do you think the odds are if, if that really can play out? They have the numbers in the cookout, but it's still, there's a lot that can happen and we've got to expect the unexpected in this game. I mean, the only other flip-flop would be Sarah Beth, Alyssa, and then Claire, but I see it Sarah Beth, Claire, Alyssa. And then I think unless it was a lucky uh, luck of the, you know, roulette table, whatever, I see the only only person I could see targeting them targeting in the in the cookout is uh, Xavier. Yeah, I think X when there is an opportunity to get rid of him, the cookout will say we've got to get rid of one of our own because let's let's just call it what it is. Xavier is a dominant force in the cookout. He is a threat. No one wants to be there at the end playing that final three competition with him because he's going to win in the physical mm -hmm. comps. I, I think Tiffany takes it in mental, but mm -hmm. you don't want to go to the end with X. So one X out, uh, maybe <laughs> in three, four weeks, we see another X coming our way. Uh, but for now, the cookout is running that place and yep. no one is the wiser. <laughs> Nobody is the wiser. And they, they, I know they're uh, on fire, dare we oh, say. The, yeah. <laughs> I love it all. Get that girl going. Flip the next one out. See you soon, Sarah yeah. Beth. Thanks to the cookout. And then, you know, we'll see. We'll see after that. Hey, Rachel, we want everybody to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure they know when we drop the new episodes. Turn on notifications. And yes. we'll see you next time for the Secret Alliance. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>